Hi guys, it's Rachel. So it's time for part two of my June favourites and I'm posting this on my vlog channel for the first time. So if you only watch my vlog channel and you don't watch my beauty channel and this is the first time you've ever seen a favourites video, basically favourites videos are when you record uh, what your favourite products are for that month and usually they're beauty favourites but then there's also some random favourites so for me that's often books, it's a lot of books but also TV shows, movies, phone apps, food, um, food favourite is the first thing I'm going to show you so if that's something that you'd be interested in keep watching and if you are interested in beauty favourites I will put a link to my beauty product favourites here which includes some fashion items, some makeup items, skincare, nail polish, perfume, things like that so you can click just there and see that but on to my random favorites of June. The first thing I have, like I said, is a food favorite. And I've been going to the movies a little bit and usually I don't buy snacks, but this month um, there was a deal on popcorn. So my favorite snack was popcorn with Smarties on top. So Smarties, Smarties for those of you who don't know, are these. I love Smarties. They're kind of like M&Ms, but flatter. The chocolate tastes slightly different, but it's basically for those of you who wear, live where Smarties aren't available, they are a bit like M&M's. Hopefully M&M's are available so you know what I'm talking about. But Smarties and popcorn. So any kind of popcorn, this is the popcorn that I happen to have. So I'm going to show you how to make my favourite snack. First things first, pop some popcorn. And while it's still hot, which I have just here because I just popped popcorn, what you want to do is take your Smarties and just generally sprinkle them all over the top. So good. I love, love, love this. And I found this by accident, but I'm absolutely in love. So once you have them... One, let's say, once you have them all sprinkled on top, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover it while it's still hot to give the popcorn a chance on the heat of the popcorn to melt the Smarties on the inside so the chocolate's a little bit melty and then you bite into them and they crunch and salt and sugar and it's just really, really nice. So I'm going to let that sit over there and then I'm going to have my popcorn and Smarties snack after I film this video. So that is my food favourite of the month. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. It is not healthy in any way, shape or form. So this is definitely a... Uh, eat in moderation food favorite, but I absolutely love okay, it. Okay, so the next favorite I'm going to talk about is book favorites because that is always what takes the longest. I read a ton of books this month. There were quite a few that came out, like um, series or the next book in the series that I um, were waiting for, so I read them straight away and got them straight away. So I did read quite a bit. I'll start with the books that I actually have um, in like paperback or a hard copy of as opposed to the Kindle books. So for my more, more mature viewers, I'm going to call these more adult romances because the who they're targeted at, the age of the people in the book, and of course the actual, I guess, scenes and the issues and things that they talk about in the book. And more adult romances. So the first one I have here is A Girl's Guide to Manhunting by Jessica Clare. And I have never read anything by Jessica Clare before, but this I really, really enjoyed, and I can see there's already going to be at least another two books, because it's one of those ones where you can see there's probably going to be three, because there's three characters. So I'm really looking forward to the next one. I've already seen the cover of it on Goodreads, and it looks really interesting, so I'm looking forward to reading that. But this one is about a girl who decides to get revenge on an ex-boyfriend who starts a... Um, uh, I guess like a survival thing, a survival for corporate training kind of thing, where you can go and spend a week in the wild just living off whatever. doesn't sound appealing to me at all, but some people really, really like that. I don't know if I could go without clean clothes and hair dryer and washing. I can't stand not washing my hair. So overall, it was a really, really fun book. I liked it, and I'm looking forward to reading the next ones. The next two books that I have here are by Jill Shalvers, and these are part of the uh, Lucky Harbour series, and I've mentioned the Lucky Harbour series in previous uh, favorites videos before. I really, really enjoyed those three books. Um, I'm trying to think what they are called. Oh, yes, Simply Irresistible, The Sweetest Thing, and Head Over Heels. So I really, really enjoyed those, and I thought they'd be the only three books because they would be the they were the three sisters. But she's made a new, I guess, trilogy linked to that same um, series. And the first one was Lucky in Love, and I read that at the start of this month, and then at the end of this month, At Last came out, which is the second one, and then there'll be a third one, Forever in a Day, which comes out. I think towards the end of next month. So I'm really looking forward to them. They're really, really well written. written. I love Jill Shalvers. She writes really, really good books. I love the stories. I love the characters. I love the place Lucky Harbour. I think it'd be an awesome place to live. And I just, I, they're just fun, light reads that leave you with a smile on your face at the end. So I recommend those as well. And then the last um, one that I have here is by Susan Mallory. And this one's called Summer Days. And this is, again, a um, another trilogy uh, linked to the full 
Fool's Gold trilogies. Um, I really, really like them, so it's a whole series. I keep on calling them trilogies, but it's because they come out in sets of three, even though they're all linked to the same place. So this is called Summer Days. Summer Nights has literally just been released, so I'm waiting for my copy to show up, and then the third one is all summer long. I really, really liked this story. I liked... Um, Rafe and Heidi are like the main characters. Again, Susan Mallory writes really, really well, really, really touching stories. I've never read a book that I didn't like um, from her, especially in this full Gold series, because I just love the place. It's like a fictional Californian town, and it is just seems like a really, really nice place to live. All the secondary characters are really great, also, and it's already sort of set you up for who's going to be the next in the main characters in the next couple of books too so that's really fun to be able to sort of see their progression and see sort of their backstory and things like that. I really like reading about a town and then have all the little stories broken up into different books so I do recommend a lot of Susan Mallory's books and definitely this one so check that out. Then the next one that I have here is a young adult book, this is a paranormal young adult book called Dreamless by Josephine Angelini and I actually have, where is... Oh, here it is. So the first book in this series is Starcrossed. And these are the hardcover covers. If you um, see it in Australia, you might see different covers. The Starcrossed cover was um, yellow and black and had like just sort of faces on it. And then the Dreamless cover, the new book, is red and black. I've got the hardcover, so it's different um, artwork. But I mentioned Starcross about a year ago in my favourites. I absolutely loved it. And then Dreamless is the second book. And this series is... Um, like I said, young adult, paranormal, but it's based, it's not like vampires or werewolves or anything, it's based on Greek mythology and characters in sort of ancient Greece, so like Helen of Troy, Cassandra of Troy, Zeus, the gods kind of thing, the demigods, Ares and um, things like that, um, Hades, Poseidon, um, Persephone, all those kind of characters. And I really, really enjoy the whole Greek mythology thing. I love how this has um, used those stories as like a background to create a whole kind of new concept and I think it's a really really great book. I can't wait until the next one. I think there's going to be three. There may be more but I think there, there'll definitely be at least three and really really well written. I love the characters. I love the story. I think that um they would be, I think even if you're not necessarily a young adult you would still really really enjoy these so highly recommend that book. Okay and then moving on to the books that I read from uh, I guess in Kindle. So I read If You Were Mine by Belle Andre, which is the next one in a series that I've mentioned before. Um, there's like eight siblings in this family, so they guaranteed at least eight books. I think this was book number five. So there's going to be a few more books. Good recommend for um, just adult romance novel. If you just want a novel um, to leave you with a smile on your face, then I recommend that one. I also read Crazy On You and Rescue Me by Rachel Gibson. Crazy On You was a, uh, what's it called, a novella, and then um, Rescue Me was a new book. And I love Rachel Gibson. I've read every single book that she's read, um, read every single book that she's written, and I really, really like her as an author. These probably weren't my favourites out of all her books, but they were still good stories. I still enjoyed them, and I'll continue to read Rachel Gibson. I also read Season for Love by Marie Force, and if you watched my favourites video, I think it was a couple of months back, I read every single book in the uh, McCarthy's of Gansett Island series, which is what this one is from. This is the sixth book in the series, I think. I read them all, and they were all in my favourites, because I just fell in love with them, and this book didn't let me down at all. I was really excited about this one because you'd sort of heard the story of these characters and the build up to them in previous books and this one you actually got to see them and their story and how they got together and things like that so I highly highly recommend it and I will continue to read books. There's going to be at least another two I believe from that series so I'm um, looking forward to those. I read What a Boy Needs by Nyra Dawn and I mentioned What a Boy Wants again in a previous um book video before. These are young adult books. They're written by it from the perception of a boy, which is very different because most stories that I read are always, if they're either from a girl and a guy, or just from the girl. So it's interesting to read a story that's like purely from the guy's perspective, and Nairae Dawn, even though she is a girl, does it really, really well. I was really looking forward to hearing Jaden's story, and it was great. It did not let me down at all, and it was a nice sort of wrap-up to the series of those two books. So I definitely recommend that, but if you haven't checked out What a Boy Wants, I recommend reading that one first. Uh, the next one that I read was A Wire by Chelsea Fine, and this was a the second book in the Archers of Avalon series. I mentioned the first book anew in a previous book video. All these ones I've mentioned the first one first. Like I said, they're all kind of... I read a lot of sequels and um, books in the series this month, so sorry about that, but... 
This is a paranormal young adult romance story. It is kind of a love triangle. It is, well, it, not kind of, it is a love triangle to the fullest. It's based on a curse that, um, and there's two twin brothers and a girl, and they both love her for various reasons, and um, unfortunately, the their love or the love of one brother is killing the girl, and she dies and um, basically comes back to life constantly throughout the series and it's just really really interesting it's a different concept not something that I've read before it's a new take I guess and I just really really enjoy it it's a good story it's well written the end I swear Chelsea Fine is trying to give me a heart attack or drive me mental because um, it always ends and I'm just like no I want to know what's happening next so I can't wait until the next book comes out I'm sure it'll be fantastic and they're really well written so um, I definitely definitely recommend checking out a new and then a wire if um after the next book along. The next book that I want to mention is The Vincent Brothers by Abby Glines. I absolutely love Abby Glines. I love her writing. I've read everything that she's put out recently and it's amazing. I highly recommend it. This is a sequel to The Vincent Boys, which again was a previous favourite. Um, and it's a really, really great story. This we, this time we saw Sawyer's story. So in the first book you um, saw two characters and he was in this book and then this one is his own story so it was really really well written a great kind of contemporary young adult mature young adult I'd probably call it mature young adult love story and like I said Abby Glines I just I fall in love with everything that she writes because it's it's not just the story it is the way that the story is written and the, the thoughts and the feelings and you hear I like how you hear both the guy and the girl in the story and their, and their feelings and it's just really well written I can't stress that enough and I highly recommend it pretty much anything from Abby Glines, I recommend checking it out. The next series that I wanted to talk about is the Significant series by Shelley Crane. This is a series that I've actually had sitting on my Kindle for a little while and other books have popped up and I've started to read them and I just, you know how things just get pushed in the back burner and then I didn't have anything new to read and I was like, okay, I'm going to read this now and I'm kind of upset that I left it that long because I absolutely love the series. The first book is Significance and then the second book is Accordance and the third book is Defiance and I absolutely love these stories. This again is a paranormal mature or young adult mature young adult book or book series and it's based on the idea of imprinting and um, which you've kind of heard about a little bit in the Twilight series but this that's not about vampires or werewolves it's basically people who you imprint on a person and find your soulmate and you basically are instantly in love with them and you can't be without them because it makes you sick and all this stuff and it's just I think I really like this story because even though it has um, elements of action and things in it, it really, really concentrates on the love story. A lot of books you find that it talks about the, the romance of it, but then you, it takes up so much time talking about the actual story and, and what, what's happening to give you action or whatever, that um, you kind of lose a little bit of hearing about how they fall in love and how they're, I don't know, just the, the actual romance of them together. This book doesn't, it's not like that. It actually really gives you the romance of it because I think because it's so important because they are soulmates and it's just really well written really really nice I love Caleb and Maggie I love the um secondary characters and I just love the whole premise I wish we could all imprint and just automatically find our soulmate and um have find the person who's just perfect for you like that it's just a really good story and then the fourth book is coming out hopefully soon at some point in this year because I'm really looking forward to that independence I think that will be the final of the series so read the first three and then you can get excited and we can read the fourth one together um, <laughs> the last few books that I want to talk about, the first one is Snapshot by Angie Stanton. This is the second book after A Rock and a Hard Place. And again, it was just a really nice young adult book. I also read Thoughtless and Effortless by S.C. Stevens. And this is another book that I've had sitting for a while and I wasn't going to read it because it's a... I guess you call it an older romance novel. It's a definitely mature young adult because of um, the references and things in it it's definitely for older readers and the reason that I was a little bit hesitant of reading it whether I thought I would like it because um a big part of it is cheating and I'm not a fan of people who cheat but for some reason the story definitely pulled you in and I was just really interested in seeing how it all ended up and in the end I kind of liked the ending and how it it all resolved itself at the end of the two books so I do recommend reading them but rec read them both together and um, I guess judge it on the entire two books don't just sort of start reading the start of the story and go oh my god I'm never gonna like this because you may not like parts of it but overall I think the story is a good story and it's written well so it's definitely um, 
something worth reading. And the last book that I want to mention was At Last by Barbara Breton. This was actually recommended to me by somebody on Goodreads. So somebody that I'm friends with on Goodreads recommended it to me and I fell in love with it. It was an adult romance novel that kind of spanned a, a long period of time and if it's something that you're interested in, if you like reading romance novels, I recommend checking it out. Go to Goodreads, read the reviews and read the um, synopsis of it and things like that because I think that you will really like it. So that is all my book favourites for this month. I'm sorry that that went forever. For TV favourites, uh, one favourite that I have that's sort of just started on TV in Australia is Last Man Standing with Tim Allen. I actually have been really enjoying that. It's just a fun, light-hearted, half-an-hour TV show that I think is, is cool to watch. I've also been loving Offspring for those of you in Australia. Um, there's two episodes left and I totally picked that Nina was going to be pregnant so I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out, although I'm sure that it'll end on like a cliffhanger and I'll be dying to see the next season but I've been really really loving that for TV shows. Um, in terms of movies I went and saw What to Expect when, ex when You're Expecting and I quite enjoyed that. I also saw Snow White and the Huntsman and I enjoyed that. Both movies I liked. They're probably not my absolute favourite movies because I feel like each of them had something slightly missing from them but overall I really really enjoyed them. I'd definitely watch them again and I'd recommend people to go see them. And then for app favourites I have a couple of fav app favourites. The first one is Face Juggler. Which so basically you choose a photo, it looks like this. And it juggles the faces of the people in the photo and it just creates hilarious photos. I've been going through and getting all old photos off my phone and juggling the faces because it's just really funny. And the next one is Celeb Alike. So basically you take a photo of yourself and it matches you with a celebrity, like a percentage, and I've just been having fun matching people with celebrities. I keep on coming up with Mishka Barton, which to me I look nothing like her at all, but for some reason that's always my highest rating. So um, if you get Celeb Alike, let me know who your um, celebrity lookalike is in the comments below and what percentage it was and whether you thought that they were like you or not. And I think that's it. Oh, I had one last favourite, which was a um, YouTube channel, and it's Barack Dubs, which is basically where they get cut together little Barack Obama saying different words and put it into songs. So they had Sexy and I Know It by um, LMFAO and Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. And it's just hilarious the way they just make me giggle. I'll put a link to that channel and the videos in the bottom bar below so you guys can check them out if you want a little bit of a laugh. I don't know, I just found them funny. And I think that is it for my random faves this month. Sorry that it went so long, but I did have a lot of books, and I know that a lot of people um, enjoy my book recommendations because you guys always tell me in the comments. So I thought that I would go through and tell you them all to you, so you guys can add some to some books to your to read list. And as always, please send me your recommendations or your random favourites for the month. I love hearing about book recommendations, but also the TV show and food and um, songs and things like that. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot song favourites. I'm glad that that just prompted me. So, song favourites for this month, I do have a... Uh, playlist in the bottom bar below but Good Time by Carly Rae Jepsen I've been loving that Get Me Golden by Terraplane Sun I think is the name of the band I was in uh, What to Expect When You're Expecting and also 21 Jump Street in like the soundtrack or playing in the movies so I really like that song Wide Awake by Katy Perry I've been loving that and I will any other songs, like I said, I'll put in the playlist below so you can check them out. Okay, that is officially it now. I'm done with random favourites for this month. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>